channel Tudor Inspirations. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you a campground review um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I really have a hard time finding information and logistics on those campgrounds that I haven't been to and also those campgrounds that are rather uh, less um, popular uh, you know if, if you go to YouTube and research Camp Golf or Fort DeSoto, you will see a lot of information that you know exactly what to do when you go there. But for those that are less popular, it's really very difficult and there's a lot of them out there. So I thought I'm going to share this information. So I have a few moments before I pick up my daughter from school. So I thought I'm gonna share this with you. So we went to Coon Creek in Shelbyville Lake for our fall camping this year. And it's it's beautiful, it's beautiful out there. Now Coon, uh, Shelbyville Lake is located in southeastern part uh, of Illinois and it's a huge, huge lake, very deep. Um, the last time we went out to go boating, which was years ago by the way, um, I remember the, the depth being at 105, 70, 50, 70, 105. So it is a very deep lake and it houses, um, they have a marina that you can rent houseboat. Um, when we were there camping, I saw really huge uh, cabin type boats. So it can really hold a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of different kinds of um, um, vessels or watercraft. Unlike what we have here in um, where I'm at, it's a pretty small lake, you know, it's good for just, you know, going out there, spend a day in the boat. But if you really want to go boating and fishing and, and beach and just enjoying the wildlife, uh, Shelbyville uh, Lake is for you. It is under the U.S. Uh, Corps of Engineers, so it is reservable through um, recreation.gov. So it is a man-made lake. Uh, it is created by the Corps of Engineers, and I'm biased for the Corps of Engineers because uh, their facilities, those facilities or campgrounds that you can uh, book through recreation.gov, they are well maintained. They are huge. They are really large. They have laundry area. They have drying area. So you can do your laundry and drying in the facility. Their bathrooms are very clean. Um, they have their uh, park ranger that goes on, you know, regularly just check things that are, you know, make sure that things are in order. So that's part I really like because the campground at night can really be dark, so it is very uh, important that security is, you know, going on. Um, the Coon Creek um, uh, campground is just one of the many campgrounds surrounding um, Shelbyville Lake. So we have the Lithia Springs, the Coon Creek, the Lone Point, there's a Eagles Creek, there's an Opossum Creek. So as you can see, there's a lot of, um, you know, campground that is just surrounding the lake. Now the campground also is very big, huge or big. Um, this campground, the Coon Creek is just, I think 279 uh, sites. So that's a lot, that's a lot. Um, there's a lot of site in, uh, one thing about Shelbyville Lake is that because it is man-made, the, the whole of the recreation center and whatever uh, campground you choose to, they are located in a bluff. So even if you are going to uh, say, a book a campsite that says waterfront, th there is like a 30 to 50 feet drop. So um, you might wanna go easy on your drinking because you could really, you know, it's a cliff, it's a cliff. And uh, there are areas there that they have developed steps so that you can access your, your boat, especially if you're those campsites that are closer to, to the marina or to the uh, boat ramp. They do have a boat ramp and um, it's like I said, it's deep. So you have to really uh, look for the steps going down or there are some trails going down, but again, you have to be very careful because it is really high, about 30 to 50, if not 100 feet above. So you essentially are gonna be looking down at the lake 
if you are in a campsite, which is very beautiful. It's all wooded, and so, you know, for fall, it is super beautiful. Um, it is also very good for, because it's huge, it's very good for biking. So if you want to, uh, you know, exercise your quads, if you're a, a cyclist, that's a good place for you because the the it, it's bluff, you know, so you have to go down and go up and go down. In fact, when I was biking and going down to the uh, the boat ramp, I said, not going to happen because it is a constant slope. And I just think if I'm going to be dead when I'm going to uh, bike up, you know, uh, to the parking spot. So it is also very good if you are somebody that like me that when I go out camping or when we go out camping I always make sure to get at least 5k run or walk around the campsite so if you're looking for serious miles with regular hills this campsite or campground is for you that is Coon Creek it's very beautiful um, the the cove there in the co it's not even a cove there's a part there in Cone Creek which I show you in the video here in a little bit um, it's not even a cove it's like a main part of the lake so you can see huge boats going back and forth and not only that fish my goodness fish just jumps out of the water and they are huge so this is a serious place for serious serious fishermen so it is very safe it is very beautiful and I would highly recommend and it is away from town so Shelbyville is a small quaint little town but this is away so you cannot just go okay let's go to um, town and uh, I mean you can but uh, it's it's a, a, a you know you really have to go out of your way to go back in town if you want to you know enjoy their restaurants or whatever but we just stayed there out in the lake there's nothing else to do uh, just to enjoy the foliage it's all wooded it's very beautiful so it's like wood bluff um, lake that's what you get when you go to Coon Creek uh, in Shelbyville Lake so Enjoy the video and thank you guys very much for watching. And if you have not subscribed, please do. If you like this channel, give it, or if you like this video and you like this channel, give it a thumbs up so I could, you know, continue. You know, I, I know what kind of videos, uh, what kind of content to uh, give to you by, you know, if you give it a thumbs up and thumbs down or whatever. So thank you guys again for watching.
watching and please don't forget to subscribe.